In this video, we're going to take these summations and write them as a single sum with a power of x to the k. So again, we're, the goal is to write this with a single sum. We might have some extra terms, but we need to have only one sum and our power has to be x to the k. If you're wondering why we're doing this, it's because when we solve differential equations with power series, we get to a point in the problem where this is one of the steps. Problems are really, really long. This is just one little step. So let's go ahead and practice that step. So the first step when you have a situation like this is to call this piece here k. So you let k be equal to n minus one. Then you solve for n. So in this case, we would add one to both sides. So n is equal to k plus one. Okay, now we're gonna come back to this in a minute. Then you do it again here. So k is equal to this. So k is equal to n plus one. Then you solve for n. So n is equal to k minus one. By the way, this is called shifting the index of the summation. This is a super important technique. You can do it in your head. Some people do it in their head. I like to show the work. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and replace the sum with whatever we end up with. So again, you call it k, solve for n. Call it k, solve for n. Good stuff. Let's rewrite our sum. So we have the sum. Now everything is k, so it's k equals Okay, let's see where we start. So if n is one, you can take the one and plug it in here. So k is one minus one, which is zero. Again, just take this and put it here. One minus one is zero. We're still going to infinity. Now we're gonna use the fact that n is k plus one. So it's three k plus one. So three parentheses k plus one, really delicate stuff. C sub k plus one x to the k, that was the whole point. I always tell myself that is the whole point. The whole point is to make this a k, right? We want them all to be k's. Let's go to the next one, plus. All right, let's see what's happening here. So we have the infinite sum, and we know it's gonna be k equals, and now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna figure out where to start this infinite sum. So when n is zero, k is zero plus one, so k is one. Again, when n is zero, you get k equals zero plus one, so you get one. And we're going to infinity, right? Really, really powerful technique. Then we still have the six, and n is k minus one. So we get c sub k minus one, and then x to the, oh wait, that's k, and that's the whole point. The whole point is to make these x to the k's. So recap. Call it k, solve for n, call it k, solve for n. Rewrite everything very carefully. Again, to figure this out, you just take this number and plug it in. One minus one is zero. To figure this out, you take this number and plug it in. Zero plus one is one. Okay, this next step is a little bit tricky. So we want to write this as a single sum. So you always want, to, the, the easy way to do it, there's a bunch of ways to do it, but the easiest way in my view is to start at the highest one. So we have zero and we have one. So we want them to start at one. So you want both sums to start at one. So here's what you do. You start this at one. You might say, what? You can't do that. Yes, we can. We will make it right. Watch this. I'm gonna write it all over again. I'm gonna start at one. So we have three, k plus one, c sub k plus one, x to the k. So I started at one, which is technically is still wrong, plus, but we're gonna fix it. k equals one to infinity, six, c sub k minus one. I love these problems. So this is not equal to this at this point, right? This is incorrect, right? These are obviously not the same. This is this, but this is not this. So let's think about this. What is this? This is the sum from zero to infinity. This is the sum from one to infinity. This has an extra term. It has the zeroth term. So we're missing that zeroth term here. So what do we do? We have to write it down. So how do we do that? We just plug in zero. So if you plug in zero here, you get three times zero plus one, so you get three. C sub one, x to the zero is one. Again, if you plug in zero here, you get three C sub one, x to the zero is one. So now what's happened is that this together with this is equal to this, right? These two are the same as this because this is the sum from zero, this is the zeroth term, and this is the rest of them. So this is all of them. This is zero to infinity, 
this is zero and then it's one to infinity. So zero to infinity is the same thing as zero and then one to infinity. So it's the same thing. The last step is to combine these. The reason we had to do this is because you can't combine these unless they both start at the same number, okay? It's super key. So let's finish this problem. This problem is super important. So we can finish now. So we have the infinite sum as k runs from one to infinity. And now we can factor out an x to the k. So I'm just gonna write this down. So it's, I'm gonna use a bracket for clarity. So three parentheses, k plus one, c sub k plus one, and then plus six, c sub k minus one, bracket, and then we have x to the k, and we're not done. We still need this, this extra piece here, so plus, 3c sub 1. So this would be the final answer. And again, what is this for? This is just one of the small steps when you actually use power series to solve differential equations. They take a considerable uh, amount of time. I hope this video has been helpful. Take care.